Hello everyone! Hello! Good morning! Ohayo! Ahakimi! You're audible? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. So, you know how you said Igor? I was literally just talking about Igor yesterday. I was literally just talking about Igor yesterday. <laughs> like, you know Adult Link from Ocarina of Time? Yo, his nose is so long. I literally said his nose is as long as Igor's nose. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get I didn't know when Hylians grew up, their noses got longer too. Hi, Nagisa. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in, everyone. Oh, I should say hi to everyone. Hi, Pottery. Hi, North German. Hi, Mal. Hi, Sari. Hi, Fur. Hi, Faye. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, today is my second waifu slash husbando redeem tier list stream so if you don't know are you jealous of the nose no i'm not <laughs> okay so if you don't know what this is um i have a channel point redeem it's turned off right now but it's a channel point redeem for um viewers to suggest their waifus or husbandos for me to rate and basically i i don't rate them one to ten i i rate them these i'll go through them okay first is i am proposing this is someone i will literally get on one knee for and pull out a ring that i spent an enormous amount of money on honestly why do people buy expensive rings <laughs> okay the second one is i actually want to marry which is like, I actually will marry them, you know? I want to have a domestic uh, house life with them. Yes. Yes. And the next one is, I want to pat their head. Which is basically like, I, I just, they're cute. I really want to pat their head and whatnot. And the next one is, I want them to pat my head because they're cute and I want my, my head patted by them. And then the next one is Onesan slash Onisan. You know, the Ara Ara or the Yare Yare sort of characters. <laughs> next is Deserve All of the Happiness in the World. This also doubles up as, um, as like, deserves to be in a world that isn't going to kill them every two seconds. You know, case in point, uh, a world like Goblin Slayer is not a good world to be in <laughs> okay next one is your hot out of 10 which is basically just for the smoke and hot characters the next one is like i want to be best friends like i i just want to hang out with them maybe go shopping maybe get some lunch together sometime i just want to be best friends with them you know you know and then the last one is i love you from a distance. This one is like exclusively for Yandere characters. <laughs> you know, the characters that you admire but you don't want to get close to for any reason because that's dangerous. <laughs> that's dangerous. And okay, all of this is completely subjective in my opinion. I don't know most of these characters to be honest. The characters this time, like there's a lot of them I don't know. I've never heard of and I don't even know the series that um they came from who are we talking about we're not on any character yet i'm just explaining mm -hmm. so yeah I, I don't know a lot of these characters personally um so yeah all of this is very subjective just from what i've seen or what i'm looking at right and what i've seen on like google images wonder where zelda is gonna land we'll get there we'll get there we'll we'll get there <laughs> Okay, so the first one, oh my god, I'm going to butcher this name. So many good characters. Yeah, they're all so cute looking. I had a great time looking through uh, Google images for them. But yeah, the first character, I'm going to butcher her name so much. I have never heard of this anime and I have, I've never heard of this character. I think this is a new anime, right? From a new anime, I think. Kuthulu? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't actually know. 
Anyways, um... The first one is from Shumatsu Nani Shite Masuka Isogashi Deska Sukute Murate I Deska I don't know what that translates to. Anyways. Her name pronounced Kutuli? Oh. Okay. Yes. Many tears in that anime? Yeah, I looked at her and I'm like, she deserves all the happiness in the world. She's really cute. Honestly, I really like her design a lot. The big hat. I'm a big fan of big hats. <laughs> Happiest girl in the world. I am a big fan of big hats. Yes, she is cute. And also, like, for anyone who doesn't know my taste in waifus, I really like long hair. Like, that's honestly a weakness for me, is long hair. I don't know why. Like, okay, okay, like, short hair girls are really good too, but I don't know what it is about long hair girls. It just gets my heart a doki you know? It just gets the doki dokies going. <laughs> so yeah, she deserves all the happiness in the world. There's one a Crunchyroll watches anime stream on Twitch. Wait... Could you watch Crunchyroll from there? The whole chat went Bible song. <laughs> the bigger the hat, the better. Yeah, the bigger the hat, the better. Honestly, big hats are good. The bigger the hat, the bigger the moe, really. Okay, all right, let's go to the next one. Same with noses, no. Pottery here with the nose agenda. Oh my god. All right. All right. The next one is from SSSS Gridman and it's Erika Takarada and she She's so cute. I like her outfit a lot. I know it's just a uniform, but she wears it well Um, let's see. How, how do I like her? How do I like her? Um Actually, I definitely want to pat her head so many side pictures because of that anime. Yeah, oh man, the short skirt though. The short skirt. <laughs> but she, I want to pat her head. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know her at all. Okay, so this is just a guess from what I've seen. But I feel like she would get hella embarrassed. And I don't know if she would smack me or if she would just get really quiet. But I want to see it. But she's super cute. She might need some head pads. All right, she's gonna get some head pads. She is so cute though. Yeah, I really like her. <laughs> I wish I could get better pictures for some of them, but again, like for her, there were just a lot of like, uh, you know, questionable images. So I had trouble sometimes getting some good images for some of these characters because, uh, yeah, reasons. <laughs> <laughs> reasons I'm sure everyone can guess considering like if anyone has ever tried googling an anime girl before I think you know uh certain 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 poses shall we say that you might run into I think you need to change your safe search settings I think I might have to <laughs> I don't know how to do that Waifus from the Lewd series, please. No, I have to dig through so many Google images just to find one, it has to be safe for work, and two, it has to be a horizontal image. And I don't think you understand how difficult it is to find both of those. Without the tier list in your old system would have been nearly impossible. Yeah, that would have been too hard. I would have had to like open it in a new tab or something. Okay, next one. I had a lot of trouble finding an image for her. So this is an image of a figurine of her. Anyways, this is from Strike the Blood and it's Yukina Himeragi. Chad Coltoon. I had a difficult time uh, finding images for her. But because of some of the, uh, shall we say, spicy images I found. I'm gonna say she's a year hot out of 10 because... Oh baby, there were some images there. <laughs> Yukina is cute. Yeah, she is really cute. 
Mm -hmm. I do, I do like her design a lot. I don't understand why she's never really wearing clothes, but she's really cute. On some of the light novels? Nice, nice. I didn't know it came from a light novel. Best images you find for characters are not safe for work. I'm not gonna go against Twitch TOS here, all right? I'm trying to have a safe for work stream. I know how hard that is when I'm discussing anime waifus, but yeah. No senpai, this is our fight, every fight. Wait, really? She's so tall! Is she tall? Wait, okay, is, is Yugi not tall? From a series called Strike the Blood. Yeah, I've never heard of that series before. It does sound kind of familiar. Haven't really heard of it. Okay, next one I do actually know from Odin Sphere. This is Gwendolyn. This has been ages since I watched that. It's an anime too? Okay, that makes sense actually. Okay, Gwendolyn! I love her so much. All right, let's just bring her up to I actually want to marry her. I do. I really want to marry her. She is so precious. I love her story too. And um, I liked fighting as her in Odin Sphere. Seasons from Strike the Blood are OVAs. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay. okay. But yeah, uh, if if you haven't played Odin Sphere, I highly recommend playing Odin Sphere. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did you guys hear that uh, 13 Sentinels is getting ported to Switch? I'm so excited for that. I can't wait for everyone to finally be able to play a Vanillaware game because I love Vanillaware so much. Yes, yeah, let's go. I can't wait. Still haven't finished it it's so good i highly recommend 13 sentinels and i really really hope since vanillaware is porting it to switch actually i don't know who's in charge of porting it actually i really hope they decide to port odin spear 2 because i think that that game was also really successful for them the art is so beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. I love Vanillaware. Uh, Vanillaware games are... Okay, now we're ranting about Vanillaware. That's fine. This is my stream. I do what I want. <laughs> like, the thing about Vanillaware games is, like, they're, they're, they, are, they are games. But more than being games, they're, like, art experiences. Like, you have to play one to understand. It's so good. It's so good. Anyways stand Gwendolyn and uh play vanillaware games all right that that's it let's just move on oh my god okay this one is from uh rising of the shield hero that's the english name for it right raptalia oh my god i love her so much discount hollow how dare you how dare you? She's my wife who and I love her. Okay, she gets deserves all the happiness in the world because she wait, wait. I'm torn. Do I put her in deserves all the happiness in the world or Onesan? Because she's such an Onesan character. I own quite a few of those novels. I like them a lot. I really do. She's best waifu. She's so good. I love her so much. She is so not Onesan. No, she grows up to be really Onesan. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand how much I want to adopt her as my older sister. <laughs> She's also deserving happiness. Thinking about her past the beginning of the anime. I know. She's precious baby. Uh, she's precious baby. I love her so much. Yeah, yeah it deserves all happiness. Yeah. yeah. I still, there's a second season, isn't there? I still haven't watched that. <laughs> but I really liked the first season. She does deserve happiness. She does. She does. Is the second season out yet? Oh, season two in April. Okay, it's not out yet. All right, we're good. <laughs> I just heard that there was a second season and then I just didn't hear anything for like a year about it. So I was like, uh, did I miss it? <laughs> okay, next one is from... Uh, 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 Toaru... 
Kagaku no Railgun. And it's Satan Ruiko? I've never heard of this character. I've heard of Railgun. I actually haven't watched Railgun. I watched Index. That's the that's the other series, right? That it was based on was Index. I um I haven't watched Railgun at all. Or read it. I heard of it, but haven't watched. Same, same. I've heard a lot about Railgun, but I really liked Index, but her, she looks really cute. Honestly, I kind of want her to beat me up. Hi, Ergo! Welcome in! Welcome, welcome! Side slash support character in Railgun, the best girl in it. I believe you. She looks so cool. She does. Honestly. She was a good girl. Very human. Why did you feel the need to point out that she was human? Wait a second. Monka S. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Because of the powers in the franchise? Oh, I get what you mean. Wait, then she's, wait, I'm sorry. I'm filling up this category. I think I just have this feeling that she's gonna, she's gonna need all of the happiness in the world. I don't know. I just have this feeling she's gonna need the happiness in the world on her side because uh, uh, I don't know. I just have this feeling. <laughs> and predictably, I fill up this category. I want to be friends with her. I, I do too. She's funny. She, she looks cute. She looks really cute. I don't know much about her, but she is really cute. I think, I think she deserves all the happiness in the world. Okay. All right, all right, let's go on, let's go on. And the next one is from uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. And it is Narmaya. Uh, easy Onesan. <laughs> easy Onesan. Oh my god. I heard, I heard from Mao because Mao plays Grand Blue Fantasy. Mao is one of those, like, uh, what do they call them? The Grand Blue Fantasy characters that play annually for that one event. I don't remember what that event was. Or was it, like twice a year or something like that i don't know anyways uh mao's one of those one of those um people and talked to me about narmaya and i was like oh my god i love her <laughs> i love her so much i think okay i like funny story i attempted grand blue fantasy when they were having one of their big events just gives up aura aura vibes definitely definitely anyways um I played Grand Blue Fantasy for a little bit, like when they they had one of their events. I tried it, and oh my god, I got so many like five stars or SSRs. They call them SSRs in the game, right? I got so many SSRs, and I was just trailblazing. And then I was like, when I got to the harder stuff, I was like, uh oh, I don't actually know how to play this game. <laughs> the image alone tells me she's Onesan. She definitely is. She is. She is easy Onesan category. Okay. Okay, next one is Yudu Camp. And it's Rin Shima. I have never watched this anime before. I've been told by millions of people that I should watch this anime before. And everyone seems to unanimously love this anime. This anime is super cute. Yeah, I hear that it's really cute and I want to watch it sometime. But like, I just haven't gone around to it. They want to catch up new players, but they still need to teach them how to play the game. Yeah, Mao. Just girls camping? That sounds like the comfiest thing ever. Oh my god, wait. Actually, camping can get really dangerous. They're they don't just start fighting bears, do they? Because I know how some anime goes. And like sometimes they're like, this is the comfiest thing ever. And then they're like, no, somebody's losing an arm today. <laughs> like, it's, it's just comfy. Love her character, super cute, and love her chill personality, nice. You'll probably relate to her, really. Oh, it is completely comfy. Okay, so it's safe. It's safe, yeah. I, I looked at her though, like, I definitely want to be best friends. I definitely want to be best friends. I'm, I'm curious, why would I relate to her? What specifically? <laughs> she is kind of Sundre. Nice. I love Sundres. You know what I love most about Sundres? I love teasing them. Probably because I have a death wish or something, but also it's just so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun to pick on people, but anyways. 
Maybe that makes me a bully, but she's super cute. Yeah, I'd love to be friends with her. I'd love to just sit by a campfire and chat with her. We sort of Sundre though, well at times- No! No! Maybe. <laughs> okay, uh, next one is... Um... So much fun to pick up. <laughs> No, Nightbot's gonna bring that up at a bad time. I just know it. Okay, next one is from... Zero Kara Hajimaru Maho no Show. And it's Zero! I don't know this anime, I do not know this character, but she is very cute and I definitely want to pat her head. Like, look at, look at her, her hair is already kind of messed up, like definitely near the top. I just want to mess it up more. <laughs> also, she is super cute. She is. She's really cute and I love her long hair because I love long hair. And you know, white hair anime characters are kind of the best. Just saying. It was a fun anime? Nice. I've never heard of it, honestly. I'll have to look into it later because I'm kind of curious about some of these animes. But yeah, she's cute. She's really cute. Okay, next one is from... Oh, my eyes are glazing over. Okay, it's from an anime, I think? Or was it a game? I think this was a game called 86. This good anime even has a Skyrim reference. Yo, I'm really curious now. Let's go. Okay, it's anime. Okay, 86. Oh no, I don't know if I can if I can pronounce her name. It's it's Vladelena Milais, maybe? Second season is this season? I mean mommy. Yeah, I mean I was gonna say like oh nice on slash mommy, like mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, she is cute. I can't say her name. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she honestly looks like she could drop kick me. She could definitely drop me. And I, I love that in a woman. I want to put her in so many tears. I love that in a woman. I love a woman that can just drop me. <laughs> I read she's probably best girl. Let's go, best girl. Best girls are the best. Reddit too? Nice! Nice! I'll have to look into it. I love strong women that can beat me up. Yup! Yup! And she definitely looks like that. I don't know. I had a far hard time finding images for her though. I have no idea why. <laughs> but yeah, she's cute. I'm kind of curious about like her- the, the anime. Picture is of the second season. Her personality is even better in it. Yo, let's go! We love character development, I think. Nice, nice. I'm kind of curious now. I'll definitely have to look into this. She's stronger in behavior. Let's go. I love that. We love to see that. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right, let's do the next one. Tales of Berseria Velvet. Okay, this game is like, it might be my favorite Tales of game. And Velvet is definitely my favorite Tales of protagonist. What do I put her in? Wait, what do I put her in? Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? She deserves all the happiness in the world. <laughs> Holy crap. Honestly, like, Berseria has like the strongest opening of any Tales of game. It's amazing. Actually, it is so amazing. I highly recommend uh, Berseria to anyone, anyone. I was gonna say anyone wanting to get into the Tales of series, but I'm like, I don't really know if it's like the best series to start with. A little bit of like a problem I had with the game though, is if you're playing in two player, because I always play um, Tales of games with two players, Anyways, the camera goes wild. Like, it's actually hilarious. Most times I was fighting and I was only looking at the feet. <laughs> or a random wall. It is so weird. It's the weirdest glitch. I don't know if that ever got fixed. I don't know if it ever got fixed, but it was so fun. But anyways, Velvet, Velvet, she, she deserves the world. She deserves the world, or actually kind of deserves to destroy the world. The world's kind of shitty, but you know. I love her! Let's go! Okay. 
Okay, next one is uh, from Vivi. Floor Eyes Song, and it's Vivi. Um, I have had, I've had uh, my brother ask me to watch this anime like 10 times, and I'm like, I don't really watch anime. This is a character with character development. I heard that this anime is like a masterpiece. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I tr have trouble watching anime though. <laughs> I have so much trouble. <laughs> I would like, I was like, oh, I love to read the manga. And then my brother's like, it's just anime. So one of the best anime for a first time watcher. I have a feeling this anime would make me cry though. I don't know why. I just have that feeling been able to watch the latest stuff these days i haven't watched any anime at all uh what do i want to put her under i think actually i know i want to pat her head don't really like the latter half of it mm. Mm. i mean i don't really know <laughs> i haven't watched it at all but totally valid okay uh i definitely think that uh she needs her head pat do you want to pat her head too? Yeah, I, I think she she needs it. I don't know why. I just have this feeling that she definitely needs it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's super cute. She is really cute. And apparently this anime is really good for first time anime watchers. So suggestions. Yay! Okay, next one. It is from... Oh, my eyes are like glazing over. Okay. Shiroi Suna no Akotope. Or Akotope. Kukudu Misakino. She's so cute! Look at her! She's actually really adorable. Like, look at this smile. Look at this precious smile. And like, oh my gosh. She's getting my heart all doki. What do I where do I put her? Where do I put her? I don't really know anything about her. Really good animation in that anime. I haven't heard of it at all. But I haven't watched the show. Yeah, she's really cute though. She does look really cute though, like straight up. I think I'm gonna propose to her. I don't know. Like she's like exactly my type. I don't know how to explain it. Like, but she's just my type. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't I don't really know how to explain it. She's just my type. I'm just like I look at her and I'm like, I, you, you know, you know, you when you look, you look through like an anime, you look through the characters or whatever, or you like see it on social media and you see a picture of a character and you're like, I just know that that's going to be my waifu or my husband, right? That's how I feel right here. Say hello to your rival, the work of sea animals. What? Homura, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? I'm raiding waifus and husbandos. Welcome in, Kinos. Welcome, welcome. I just have to pull out her hair. No, I can take short hair girls too. I like short hair girls too. But yeah, I'm writing it on a system from I'm proposing to I actually want to marry and I want to pat their head. I want them to pat my head. When I san slash onisan deserves all the happiness in the world. You're hot out of ten. I want to be best friends and I love you from a distance. Yeah. So basically, like, none of these are better than the other. They're just to explain my different feelings for these characters. I don't necessarily know all these characters, by the way. Some of them, I don't know that well. Okay, but, like, the next few I do know, so that's good. Okay. Next one is from Xenoblade Chronicles. Melia, straight up, I am proposing. I love her so much. She is my waifu from Xenoblade Chronicles. Melia, best girl. Yo, when they had the remake with a story just about Melia, I, I screamed. I was like, God, finally, finally, thank God. I love her so much. Like, okay, when uh, I first played the game, like the original, I didn't like her at first because I was like, oh my gosh, she's so rude. Melia is the only girl. I agree. I agree. Her big tooth. <laughs> yeah, but then like, oh my gosh, she grew on me. Just something clicked and like I understood her character so much better. And I was like, wait, she's actually an amazing character. And I love her so much. Anyways, I love her. I love her so much and HD Melia, my heart. I love her so much. Anyways, play Xenoblade Chronicles. 
Uh, it's really good. Okay, next one. Oh, playing the games, but been a while. I think I liked her quite a bit. She is so great. Okay, next one. Next one. This is my waifu. This is my waifu. Look at my headband. Look, look at my headband. I took one look. I took, oh yeah, like straight up propose. Wait, can I put her in multiple characters? categories can i put her in all of the categories look at my headband look at my headband okay for those who don't know when i started playing skyward sword i took one look at zelda i took one look at zelda skyward sword and i made this headband to show my everlasting support because i love her so much this zelda <laughs> unexpected not unexpected at all this zelda zelda skyward sword zelda is best zelda yes Best Zelda. Okay, she's childhood friend, but thousands of pictures. Yeah, I took a few screenshots in that game. Just a few. <laughs> Anyways, like she's childhood friend, right? She's cute. She's nice. She's a witty. She's a bit mischievous. I love her so much. <laughs> she's so great. And Thank you, TSKR Nintendo, for having a button dedicated for screenshots on the Switch so I could just spam that. <laughs> so I could just spam that whenever she came on screen. Yeah, I took a lot of pictures of her, but that's okay. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. Okay, next one. <laughs> Next one's from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it's Nia, specifically Blade Form. I, I think all Nia is really cute, but why specifically the Blade Form version? I don't remember who redeemed this. I kind of want to ask. <laughs> but anyway, she's really cute. I like her a lot. Rip to her, though. Man, I, if you know the scene I'm talking about, if you know the scene, I, I, I'm kind of referring to, like, damn, damn, feels bad, man, anyways, oh, what do I, oh my gosh, what do I put her under, okay, actually, definitely, definitely, I want to pat her head, she's so cute, you should write down the redeemers in the future, I should, that's actually a really good idea, that would probably help me keep track of it better, hmm, -hmm. But yeah, she is so cute, and I want to pat her head, but also because, like, rip, rip Nia. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, play Xenoblade uh, Chronicles 2. It's really good. It's really good. And here's hoping, here's hoping they port Xenoblade Chronicles X, because I hear that's really good, but I don't want to go on the Wii U anymore. I'm sick of the Wii U. I just want him to be on Switch. Okay, next one. Oh my god. Oh, I had to do this image because it's so funny. <laughs> Why did he do this in the game? Okay, next one is Skyward Sword. Gear of him. Why? Why? I, I don't know. What do I put him under? Oh my god, I hope they're working on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Oh my god, why, 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 why gear him? What do I put him under? Uh, um, uh, uh, well, okay, okay. So many wipers, I don't know. I don't know a lot of these too. Oh my god, there's so much, look. This just goes to show you there's so many good waifus in so many different places. Okay, uh, I don't want to propose to gear him. I do not want to marry gear him. I don't want to touch gear him. I don't want gear him to touch me. Uh, gear him is not an Onisan. Uh, gear him doesn't deserve all the happiness. In the okay, what is gear him's motivations? His motivations are literally like must revive master he's like must revive master must beat up clink like i don't get it i don't get it I can put him on distance he will teleport you yeah he'll teleport to you so i can't put him from the distance right uh i don't think he's that high 
Well, actually, you know, he's kind of attractive. Not gonna lie. Actually, you know what? I'll put him on. You're hot. He kind of grew on me. <laughs> he's very faithful. He is very faithful. He would not stop going after Clink. Like, he, he would not stop. He didn't give up. So he's very faithful. Gare him is hot 10 out of 10. Haven't you seen his tongue and JoJo poses? <laughs> she changed her mind so fast. Okay, like, oh, at first, he's like, yo, that's, that, no, I don't like you, right? But, like, the more you fight him, the more you're like, he kinda hot, though. Maybe I'm losing my mind. <laughs> he's kinda hot, though, like, I don't want to marry him or be near him more than, like, five seconds. There's a thin line between creepy and hot. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, like, I don't know. I'm okay with checking him out. He's waiting for Clink at the next boss. He's always so faithful. Himmy's tastes are saving out. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, alright. This next one is obvious. This is from Doki Doki Literature Club. And it's Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Anyways. I like her. I really do. She's my favorite from DDLC. <laughs> Manga S, she's my favorite from DDLC. Um, maybe that's bad. Maybe that goes to show you that my my type is perhaps not the the most uh safe type, shall we say? My type is perhaps um not 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 the most unproblematic type. Man, this so looks so bad. Maybe I should just. Hi, welcome in, Super. I'm raiding a bunch of waifus. I only like Natsuki. That's good. Actually, that's good. Don't be like me with questionable taste. Actually, like, tastes are fine. Anyone can like whatever they want, but... Yeah. <laughs> I like Monica. She had the best character development. I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that ending was really good. I have to agree, she's kind of the best one in DLC. She is! She is! I feel like she had the most, I don't know, time and opportunity to, like, get to know her character. Even though her character is a little bit woohoo, you know, but, yeah. Natsuki is my favorite character in the game. Yeah, Natsuki is really popular. I think, like, uh, you know how you have to do, like, a route at the beginning? I did Natsuki's route, because I was like, Natsuki is kind of my second favorite, but I was always eyes on Monica. And, like, I was like, man, I can't wait to unlock the Monica route. Yeah. We like all sorts here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, like whatever you want. Well, welcome in, Kermit the Frog. Welcome, welcome. I'm raining waifus, and I'm talking about Monica from DDLC. I haven't even played it yet. Yeah, no spoilers, guys. But yeah, DDLC is pretty good. Uh, Veer discretion though. Veer discretion, yeah. It is free though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, all right. Let's just go to the next one. Let's just go to the next one. Okay. Um, and then next is from Suki ga Michibiku Isekai. Oh, is yeah, it is Isekai. Dochu. And it's Tomoe. And, uh, yo. Onesan, let's go! She's so hot, 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 hot. She is very attractive. <laughs> best dragon waifu. I don't know any other. <laughs> Yay, best dragon waifu. Let's go. She's very attractive. Just gotta say, like, her hair looks like it's so hard to take care of. But, <laughs> see, normal distribution for me here. But yeah, she's really cute looking. I don't I don't know anything about this anime or this character, but like gosh, she is attractive. <laughs> she's a dragon, is so cute, yeah. Yeah, she's very cute. Okay, let's let's go to the next one. I'm from Dead or Alive. Ayane! She is very cool. Actually, okay, let's go. I know where I wanna put her. I want I want her to pat my head. Like, she is so cool looking. I mean, she could probably, like, drop me in less than two seconds. But, you know, some other dragon waifu, but she, she would be a total masochist. Wait, who? I have not played any Dead or Alive games, nor have I. Nor have I. 
I, I haven't really seen much about them either. But they seem pretty popular, so they must be good to look up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she is, she's really cute. Um, Ayane is really cute. Definitely, definitely. She looks really cool, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I chose this one, this uh, outfit. Like, she has other outfits, but I was like, this one looks the coolest. Bye to say, but I have to go. Thanks so much for stopping by, Super. Thank you, thank you. Also, she's from Ninja Gaiden originally. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. So she's kind of like a collab character. That's super cool. Nice, nice. All right, let's go to the next one. This one is from Grisaya, and it is Kazami Yuji. Oh, man, where did I put Yuji? Oh, okay, Yuji, let me let me just start off with. I played Grisaya. Grisaya is like the only Galgay that I've played. Actually, I think I've played a few others, but... It's, it's the only one that I was, like, obsessed with. And I still haven't played the sequels yet. I gotta get around to that. Sometime. Main character, Senpai. Nice! But Yuji is such a good protagonist. He's such a good protagonist. Yeah. Yeah, I hear the other games are really good. But I did play the first game, the full first game, a while ago. But it's so good. The comment route is so long. I want to recommend it to everyone to play. But the comment route is so long. But there's a good reason why the comment route is so long. But you don't know that until after the comment route. And it's just so frustrating. <laughs> I want to recommend it to everyone. But I don't know if everyone wants to sit through that. Should play the sequels. I spent several months dedicated to that series. I definitely want to at some point. At some point, yeah. I think the problem is I don't really have a laptop that can play it anymore. And like, it gets exhausting to sit at my PC for hours and hours. Because it is so hot in this corner. <laughs> I'm like sweating already. Maybe that's TMI, but anyways. Yuji, where do I put Yuji? Oh my god. Actually, I know where. I know where. I want to marry Yuji. Just buy the Switch port? Is the Switch port in English? Wait, is it in English? I didn't know that. I thought it was only in Japanese, but... I mean, if it's in English, heck yeah, I'm gonna buy the Switch port. Let's go. Where's he from? He's from Grisaya. Uh, the Fruit of Grisaya. That's what it's called in English. It is a uh, visual novel. Mm -hmm. It's a gal gay, so... Mm -hmm. That guy. Yes, it's multilingual. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I'll definitely get it then. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, this is the protagonist, uh, Yuji from Grisaya. And he's a really great protagonist. I learned a lot of random useless facts from him. <laughs> he's like the guy you go to for random facts. And like, not really useless facts. They're like useful, but in weird situations. Like I learned how to survive an explosion from this guy. Which is really interesting, but also, like, I mean, I played this game years ago. I still remember that. <laughs> guy you'd go to if you need someone to beat up an army. Exactly! He's that guy. Yeah, exactly. Um, the anime for Grisaya. I, I don't really like the anime for Grisaya. I, I, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but the visual novel is way better. Redeem? Okay, I, I, let me- one second, I just want to look out this character real quick. I adopted the mindset of always giving a good woman two chances to say yes. Good mindset to have. How do you spell it? It is, um, G-R-I-S-A-I-A. -A. One sec, I can type it in chat. It is Grisaya. There you go. Okay. Teal. Oh, I think I see what you mean by masochist. <laughs> she is really cute though. I wish I had the ability to charm women like he can. He's, he's got a skill, you know? He's got a skill in it. <laughs> Earn money. <laughs> okay, next one. Next one. Let's go to the next one. Okay, it's from... Uh, Hannah, pirate princess, and it's Karen. Pirate princess, wait, wait a second. There's an anime about a pirate princess? Yo, I actually have to watch this. <laughs> Karen, yeah. She's really cute. 
Um, I had to choose the image of her aiming a weapon at the screen because, um, you ever see someone so attractive and you just want them to hit you? Yeah, that's how I feel. Watch the anime long, a long time ago? Nice, nice. Okay, uh, where do I want to put her? Really good anime of last season. Oh, so it's a recent anime. Okay, that explains why I haven't heard of it. I haven't been keeping up with the anime very well. Or at all. Really nice character. She is so cute. Actually, I think I want to be best friends with her. I want to be best friends with her. She is so cute. And, um, you know, I, I love a woman that can drop me. Okay, next one. I had a hard time finding a safe for work image of her. Oh my god. And next one is from Nekopara. It's Chocola. Chocola, where do we put her? I know where I'm putting her. I'm marrying her. Chocola? Okay, I, I I haven't actually played Nekopara myself. I did watch a playthrough of Volume Zero, though. And Chocola? Uh, she's my type. She's, like, exactly my type. Like, the Genki girl? Safe for work, Nekopara picks. It is so hard to find them, but I found this image and it works. Alright, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Anyways, chocolate is like exactly my type. The Genki girl. Genki girl is my type. I love her so much. She is so cute. Also, like, this kind of doubles up as I also want to be best friends with her. But you know what? What, what kind of waifu are you not best friends with? Am I right? Let's go. They're all cute, right? Still fighting for Maple number one, Nekopara girl. Maple's super cute too. Maple's super cute too. It's just, I love the Genki character so much. <laughs> Genki me! Oh man, that's kind of perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, next one. Next one is from Sailor Moon. It is Sailor Venus, also known as Mina. I know. I haven't seen Sailor Moon at all. Okay, wait. Let me put her in the category. I want her to pat my head. I don't know how to describe it. She just, she has such a comforting presence. I don't really know much about her. I haven't watched Sailor Moon. But she has a comforting present. You know, fun fact, like, back in middle school, I was gonna read Sailor Moon. Because, like, you know, um, in middle school, I only had so much manga on the in the library, right? There was only so much. And Sailor Moon was already there. Hey, Mary here? Nice! Nice, yeah, she's super cute. And there was like Sailor Moon, right? There was always Sailor Moon, so I was gonna read it, right? But then my friend said like, you're not mature enough for that series. That series is really adult. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't want to read something that I shouldn't be reading yet. So I won't read it. I'll just, I'll just read Rave Master for the 20th time. And um, so I never read it because I thought it was too adult. And then I, I, I grew up and I actually like learned about the series and I learned that like, it's, it's not actually really adult. <laughs> I know, but like, I don't know, for some reason, for some reason they thought it was and just told me not to read it. And so I was like, okay, I believe you. So I never ended up reading it. After Madoka Magica, I just can't picture Majo Shoujo anime anymore that aren't grim. I know! There are so many, so many grim magical girl animes now. Like, there are so many. I can't trust magical girl. It, magical girl anime gave me trust issues. I don't trust stuff that's like, oh, we're so comfy. And I'm like, yeah, but when are people gonna start dying? Like, if anything, it's like soap opera like. You know, I would have really liked that in middle school. Wish I would have read that in middle school. Magically cursed girls. They're, oh, they're so cursed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Magica really changed things. But anyways. Next one. From Gintama. It is Koka. She is kind of mommy. I'm gonna put her in Onesa. She's definitely mommy. Magical girls are mommy or getting away from cuteness please go back to cuteness please i want wholesome magical girl please i can't take all this cursed stuff she's a mother oh so she's quite literally mommy okay okay that makes sense so she really is mommy i don't know much about this anime i haven't watched it at all i'm actually really interested in it but it's so long but i hear it's really good 
but also it's so long. Isn't isn't Gintama like one of those animes that's like it lures you in with the comedy, but then it gets really serious at moments? Like I'm pretty sure that's what it's like. I I've heard that before, and that's I I really like that actually. I really like that in an anime. Yeah, nice, nice. But yeah, she's definitely mommy. She is really cute. Okay, all right, all right. Next next one is um from Odin Smear again. It's Velvet! I love Velvet so much. Velvet is also kind of a nice one. No wonder you liked Grisaias so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. Like, as long as it doesn't get really dark, okay? That's the thing that I don't like. As long as it doesn't get really dark, but like... I like it when it gets serious. I do. But anyways, Velvet, she's kind of mommy though. Velvet kind of mommy though. She is very attractive though. Very, very, very attractive. And she fights with chains. And that's honestly so cool. And she's really fun to fight as. Mm -hmm. What did you think? So I mean, with her. Yeah, with her. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy? Yeah, Velvet's are really cute. And again, if you haven't played this game, you should play this game or any other Vanillaware games. I will forever be marketing for Vanillaware because I love I love them so much. If you like good girls, best girls, mommy girls, if you love girls, you should play Vanillaware games. I suddenly feel the urge to play Vanillaware games. Yeah! She's best girl. My best girl is Mercedes, to be honest. <laughs> but Velvets are really good. I think I want to buy the figures. Yeah, the figures are so cute. Oh my god, have you ever seen the figures for Odin Sphere? They are so gorgeous. I want to get one myself, but oh boy, they are expensive. <laughs> they are expensive. But they're so good looking so good looking okay let's go to the next one is another gintama character and this is sukuyo yo okay um uh all right all right all right i know i know i know i know i, I want her to pat my head i want her to pat my head spam images of them hell yeah hell yeah the figures are so cute but anyways Yes, Sukiyo, I think I want I want her to pat my head. And she she's really cool looking and cute. And I kept seeing this picture, these pictures of her like with this full face face blush. So she seems cute AF. But like, yeah. Yeah, she's she's really cute, but I just want her to pat my head. I feel like 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 so comforted. Even though she could probably drop me. She's just such a- I feel like she's kind of motherly. I don't know much about her or anything. She's a cute and strong character. Nice! Nice! Yeah, she feels kind of like- like motherly. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I just saw some images of her, okay? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, she's really cute. Okay, next one is from Naruto. It is Hyuga Hinata. I have not seen Naruto. Actually, that's a lie. I saw, like, the first 10 episodes of Naruto. And, uh, it was pretty good. <clears throat> Best friend we got them. You haven't watched Naruto? No, I haven't. Finally, like, character, I've actually seen the show of I have not. Um, I know, like, a lot of people like Hinata. That's all I really know. One of my first anime, yeah, I've watched, like, the first 10 episodes and then I just never watched the rest. Um... I don't know. I just, it, it's, they're just, I just didn't feel very drawn into it. She's kind of a doormat in the beginning, but has character development. Hey, character development. We love to see it. We love to see it. She's a good character, I guess. I feel like we have mixed opinions in the chat. <laughs> Subject of indefinite cartoon network reruns. Yeah. Yeah. Sad because I only saw the OG Naruto got super bored of Shippuden. Yeah, I didn't, I don't know. I wasn't too drawn to it. Watch Naruto completely, just can't watch Boruto. 
<laughs> oh my god, I love the memes though that are like, yeah, uh, Boruto's dad. <laughs> but I know it's super popular and like I hear it's really good. Naruto? You mean Boruto's dad? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't know. I just wasn't too hooked into it, to be honest. But Hinata is super cute. So I think I'm gonna put her in. I just want, I'll just pat her head. She's really cute. She, she is really cute. I know like nothing about her. But I mean, character development. We love to see it. I think I'm done with the series. It happens. It happens. Especially for series that are going on for so long. It's hard to stay into it. Like, there was, like, for an example, uh, I was up to date with One Piece up to, like, volume 90. Like, I read every single volume, but after that, I was like, oh my god, this is so long. And, like, I want to know what happens next, but also, I can't read all of that. There's so much. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know. Naruto's slash Baruto is one of those series that just keeps going and just keeps going and just keeps going and just keeps going. Just lost something in the jump to Boruto. Mm, I can't understand that. So glad I got into One Piece when it was much shorter. Same, but now I'm like, uh oh, I fell behind the ongoing and I have so much to make up for. One Piece, but what's the anime? I can't watch the anime. There are too many episodes. There's over a thousand episodes. A thousand! That's so many! <sighs> but anyways. I should go on. Next one is Tony Kaku Kawaii. It is Tsukasa Tsukuyomi. Anime kind of sucks nowadays. Dropped it years ago. Yeah, I'm not surprised with such a long anime. Oh, wait about Dragon Ball. I got 12 episodes into Super and was like, eh. Yeah, Dragon Ball, I loved to watch as a kid, but now I'm like, meh. Waifu material? Yeah, actually, like, doesn't she get married in, like, the first episodes? Definitely wife material. Like, straight up wife material. Like, isn't this about the domestic life? Like, I don't know much about this anime. I just heard a description. It's like the domestic wife of, like, I think she's an alien? Was that- was that what she was? An alien or something? And like... And it's just the domestic life? Wait, what? I don't know. I haven't watched Tony Kaku Kawaii. I know like this is by the author of um... What was it called? I think it was Hayate the Combat Butler. I've read that. That was pretty good. Only hinted in season one. Okay, well I'm calling it. She's an alien. But anyways. Yeah, it's just the, the domestic, uh, uh, like, couple life, just married couple life of, of this girl that randomly shows up and this dude that, like, got hit by a truck or something. I don't remember. <laughs> I just heard the description, but it seems kind of cool. Yeah, that anime, yeah. So, it's cute. But yeah, she's definitely wife material. Hayate author, so there would will be weird twists among slice of life. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Wouldn't say alien more like mythical. Alien is also mythical. Hashtag alien waifu, best waifu, let's go. Want her to pat my head? She is cute. She she's a little old Nason looking, isn't she? She kinda is. Definitely, definitely. Okay, I should go on. Next one is another Gintama character. It is Tama. Uh, is Tama a robot? <laughs> because um, I kept seeing images of Tama, but like her head was not on right. Um, and I don't know if that's normal. She's a robo maid. Okay. All right. All right. That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Cause like I kept seeing images of her head not being on. And I was like, is that okay? Is that okay? All right, all right. In this case, in this case, um, I definitely want her to pat my head. This is fine. <laughs> Just head off in the middle of a burning room. This is fine. Yeah, I, I another Gintama character. I want to pat my head. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I need a drink. Turning on head pat mode. Yo, there better be a head pat mode or I'm a riot. Or I'm a riot. Head pat mode or riot. 
anything for you, queen! Yo, that's so accurate. Nightbot, let's go. Okay, okay, next one is from King of Fighters. It is Leona. The bot's so intelligent, it so is. It's Leona. Okay, she's definitely a year hot out of 10. Like, she's smoking! Look at her! Yo, look at that pose for one, but two, look at... Look at her bedonkers. <laughs> yeah, look at her abs! She can beat me up! She can! Please! Please beat me up! Oh my god! I would pay her good money for that! Like, ASMR, I beat you unconscious! <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, alright. And next, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome and welcome, welcome. What an idea. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's just go over to the next one. Another Gintama character. It's Gintoki. This is the main character, I'm pretty sure. I think so. Anyways, um I felt like this expression suited him the most. I don't know. <laughs> I know that he doesn't like take anything seriously. That's for sure. Uh, I don't know what category to put him under. Actually, actually, um, I don't know. Just nightbot. Just nightbot. Just nightbot. Just nightbot. Oh no, not nightbot going yandere. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. You know what? You know what though? I feel like I don't I don't know anything about Gintoki. Alright, this is a disclaimer. But I feel like when it really comes to it, he can kind of be Onisan. He can be kind of Onisan and take care of others. But I don't really know. And I feel like it would take a lot for him to get to the next stream redeeming night, but no! Why? Why do you want Nightbot to be your waifu? What's the appeal of Nightbot? Nightbot is here to just flame me. She hadn't been practicing. Nightbot is here to just flame me. You shouldn't waifu Nightbot. Nightbot is here to flame me. D D Nightbot is just... No. No. <laughs> See? See? Nightbot is just flaming me. Nightbot is flaming me. Oh my god, boycott Nightbot, ban Nightbot, Nightbot is just trying, trying to drag my reputation through the mud. <laughs> drag my reputation through the mud! Oh my god, I can't believe this right now, I need to go on. Go on, next waifu! Next! Waifu, okay. <laughs> Give me, no! Next waifu! Dead or alive, Doa Kasumi. Uh, she's hot. She's really hot. Do you see her outfit? Yo, uh, black, black suit, not suit. What is this called? Jumpsuit? Jumpsuit, yeah. So hot. And then her hair up. Ponytail is so attractive. Chose the safer option? Wait, what? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Anyways, yo, ponytails are so attractive. Honestly, I feel like ponytails are underrated. Ponytails are like jumpsuit or plug suit. Plug suit sounds wrong somehow. <laughs> we stand ponytails, yes! Ponytails are so good. Ponytails are underrated. They're like so good though. So good. Okay, okay. She's one of my faves. I use her a lot. Nice, nice. You have such good taste. I know. I have God to your taste. Let's go. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Next one. Next one is I'm losing my place. I'm losing my place. Okay, next one is from Tekken. And it is Jin Kazuma. Jin. Oh my God. All right, I have to do it. All of the fighting game characters are just so hot. <laughs> wow. All of the fighting game characters. Tekken's a fighting game, right? I don't I don't know much about it. I don't play many fighting games. I'm bad at them. I'm bad at them. Waited for that. Let's go. Anyways, they're all so attractive. I love him. He's so hot. All of oh my god, why do they make fighting game characters so attractive? Like, okay, one, 
One, like, I'm bad at fighting games. I don't really want to play them because I suck at them. But two, there are so many attractive people in fighting games. But also, like, okay, okay, point of view, point of view. You're playing, you're playing, like, Tekken or maybe Dead or Alive. And, like, you're facing one of these characters, right? And who are you? Tekken, let's go. Like, okay, you're, you're playing one of these fighting games, right? Like, point of view, okay, you're playing Tekken, right? And this guy, you're fighting this guy. How are you supposed to fight this guy? How are you supposed to win? You're literally just standing there and you're like, oh, he's so hot. Please punch me. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but when I see attractive people, I just kind of want them to punch me. <laughs> oh no, that sounds so bad, but I'm not taking it back because it's the truth. <laughs> and maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm doubt I'm outing myself as Doe M today. Oh well. Anyways, I just I can't fight against attractive people. I can't win against attractive like I'd be so screwed in anime. Like point of view, I'm an anime protagonist, and like if the villain is like a really hot smoking lady, I'd be like, ma'am, you you can you can I'll give you whatever you want you win you win or like a very attractive man like shit you win you win i give up oh no she's hot seduction <laughs> techniques or wonders on kimmy it does it does if you want to win a war against against me right you want to win a war against me the only solution is to stick a very beautiful woman or a very beautiful man in front of me and i will literally be raising my white flag and be like i surrender <laughs> i surrender you may take the keys to my castle <laughs> okay i should move on that got a little bit um yeah bye anyways let's go on this one is from Fate Extra. It is narrow. I don't know Fate. Uh, I don't know Fate even a little bit. I don't. I don't know the Fate series at all. Um, yeah, but she's really cute. Okay. Uh, I guess I loved her talking sequences in the anime. Nice. I tried to watch. Uh, I think it was Fate Zero. Fate Zero, that anime, but I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Safer Red or Red Saber, or is she a saver that is red? I have no idea. Okay, she is... I want to give her head pets. Yeah. She's really cute, and uh, she seems like top tier waifu material. I know nothing about her, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know anything about Fate. Honestly, the series in a whole kind of terrifies me because I'm like, isn't she the Podoru girl? I think so. I think so. She's a saver. She's a waifu. Yeah, the series kind of scares me though because I'm like, it looks so long. It's so long and I don't know where to start. And it's so big. I love her Umu Umu. Umu Umu is the best. Oh my god, that's so cute. Get you a Umu Umu girl. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next one is... Okay, one second. I need to sit up. Ugh. Okay. I'm just falling down my chair constantly. Started imitating this Umu Umu. <laughs> it gets addicting, okay? You have to be careful with the Umu Umu and the Ara Ara and all of that. You have to be careful when you say it because then you start to say it out of habit. Like, I started to say Pog, like, in sentences. Like, my, my manager was like, yo, my son got through a whole day at school without getting trouble. And I was like, oh, yo, Pog. And she was like, what does that mean? You have to be careful. Otherwise, you'll keep when it suddenly isn't ironically anymore. Yeah, yeah. I used to say Uma Uma before. Yeah. What? <laughs> it happens. Like, you have to be careful about the things you, you just imitate for fun. Eventually, it will just be part of your normal, your normal talking routine. There is a Umu compilation of her. I am not surprised. 
I'm not surprised at all. I'm sure I've actually probably seen it because that, I feel like I have seen it. Actually, I think I have. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Next one is from Gintama. It is Hijikata. He is really cool. Okay, he's definitely an Onisan character. He's definitely an Onisan character. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel that. I just know. He's, yeah, he's Kakoi. He's cool. He's just a cool character. And, um... He's the main ace guy. What? What does that mean? Wait. <laughs> what does that mean? Is Okay, I don't really know much about him, but is he like... He's like a, a, a rival character, like a, a rival character. He loves mayonnaise? Oi. <laughs> Is he like obsessed with mayonnaise? Is that why everyone knows he's, a, he's obsessed with mayonnaise? <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. That's so hilarious. Wait, is he like obsessed to the point? Wait, and Kintoki loves ketchup. Wait, do they have feuds about this? I just have a feeling. I have a feeling knowing Gintama is a comedy anime, they they just had this like at least a whole episode where they did nothing but like try and prove that one was better than the other. That's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. I need to watch this anime. I know I would laugh so much. That's amazing. Mayonnaise is better. I don't like mayonnaise or ketchup. <laughs> I do like ranch though. I'll be the third camp that just likes ranch. <laughs> okay, I should go to the next one. The next one is Sam. Is mayonnaise an instrument? A mayonnaise is a condiment. Yes. Okay, uh, next one is from Sakugan. It is Zakultu. I don't think this is an anime that has come out yet. I think this is just like all I could see was like this one like Crunchyroll article for it. I think or maybe it was like an anime news network uh, article for it. But I don't think this anime came out yet. Still sad they jumped from tragic episode to... Nah, never mind. Last episode. Wait, it actually came out? I don't know why. I had so much trouble finding anything about this. That's weird. Hmm. Anyways, she's really hot. It's this season? Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, she's very attractive. Okay, like, crop top. Crop top. Crop top! I love me some crop tops. Hot 10 out of 10. Yeah. You're hot out of 10. I love me some crop tops. She's so attractive. Last episode was a beach one. <gasps> we love to see it. We love to see beach episodes. Let's go. Let's go. We love to see beach episodes. Let's let's go. Let's go. I love beach episodes. Alright. <laughs> Alright, okay, next one. I kind of know from Kid Icarus Uprising. It's Palutina. I know Palutina from Smash. I know her from Smash. I don't know anything about her. Um but is it okay to propose to a, a like a goddess she's a goddess right is it okay to propose to her i know her only know her from smash same yeah she's really cute though lady palutina intensifies <laughs> let's go she's so cute though like okay like she's way out of my league though let's be real here but She's so attractive. <laughs> She's just so attractive and powerful seeming. Oh my god, let's go. She's really cute though. I like her a lot. I don't know much about her disclaimer, but I like her a lot. Okay. Must play Kid Icarus Uprising. There's a lot of fourth wall break. It's such a good game and comedic. Nice, nice. Yeah, I wanted to play it for a long time, but like, I don't, I don't like playing games on my DS. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I really want them to port it to Switch because I know I would play it in an instant if they do. I hate playing games on my DS, so I just don't like it. <laughs> but I want to play it too. 
don't have a console for it. Yeah, I really, I feel like, I feel like, um, Kid Icarus, that series, would really be more popular if they, like, ported one of the games to Switch. Because, I, I don't know, I feel like there are a lot of people interested in the series, like, especially from Smash. But, like, nobody can play it, because, like, nobody has a DS. A 3DS, yeah. Yeah. But, like, everybody has a Switch, come on. Okay. Next one is from, uh, where am I? Oh, it's from League of Legends, and it is Aurelia. Mommy, definitely mommy. Oh my god, I saw her, and I was like, yo, she's gorgeous! It's because of SS Brawl, yeah! Yeah, Brawl, so good. But anyways, she is gorgeous! Okay, I don't know anything about League I don't, I don't know anything about League. All right, I'm, I'm gonna put that out there right now. I don't know anything about League of Legends. All I know is it's hard and I would probably not like it because I'm not good at competitive games. But for her, for mommy, I'm gonna I'm play that game right now. Like, holy, my League main for a reason. She's freaking gorgeous. Oh my God. And like the artwork they have of her looks so good like i kind of want to make this artwork like my desktop background or something it's so gorgeous like okay okay uh league i i don't i don't know how to play it i'll probably be really bad at it but like god am i tempted because she's attractive please tell me there's more attractive people in league because if there's at least one more attractive person i think i might download it <laughs> there's more waifus Yo, let's go! Alright, alright, I'm about to be a ranked league player, and then I get to steal the username of Kimmy from the other ranked league player that has the username of Kimmy. Oh yes, league salt! I only play waifus in that game? Pog, that's the best way to play games. <laughs> that's the best way to play games. Yeah, I would get so salty at league though. Toxic Kimmy? Like, if you see me in Mario Kart, you know how I'm with, like with competitive games. I'm so toxic. <laughs> and I'm bad at them. <laughs> but, oh man, she's so attractive! Okay. I should move on. I should move on. Alright, let's go to the next one. This is from The Irregular at Magic High School. And this is Saigusa Mayumi. Okay, I have... I have this really good feeling, okay, right here, not a good feeling, but I just have this huge feeling that she doesn't get enough screen time. Is this true? Huh, Onesan vibes? She does, but I just have this feeling that she doesn't get enough screen time. Why do I have this feeling that she's like best girl, but she hasn't gotten enough screen time? Yeah, I knew it! God damn it, best girls never get enough screen time. Anyway, she deserves all the happiness in the world, but also more screen time. Like, oh my god. She just she just has those vibes of like being best girl, but they don't they don't let her have enough screen time because they wanna like show off the other girls, but like she's best girl, you know? She can also beat you up, which makes it even better. Yo, Pong! I love a girl who can beat me up. Hey, a super nice side character, giving her not enough screen time. Why? I know it happens all the time. Like, okay. All right. I'm gonna say it. Like in a lot of harem anime, they make really great side characters with really interesting like backstories and motivations and whatnot. And then they like, okay, move aside so we can introduce the next girl. And it's like, why? Just let me simp. She has more in the books, to be honest. All right. Maybe I'm gonna read the books. Yes, I don't get it. I just, I just want to simp for like the one girl. Oh, I can't handle harm. It breaks my heart. Harm breaks my heart. So do love triangles. I can't handle any of that. Anyways, it just breaks my heart. I like there's, there's, there's such good characters, but you don't give the time to develop because you just want to introduce more, and I don't understand. But anyways, that's just a complaint I have. Sorry for ranting. I get that, okay. I'm not the only one. Harm breaks my heart. Proceeds to stand Yuji. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, Grisaya is just that good. I'm sorry. I can forgive Grisaya because it's just that good. And at least in the visual novel, you can choose one and, like, really develop them, okay? And, like, let's look at the, the, like, develop their character, their character arc, and, like, and, like, learn their motivations and whatnot. Anyways. Also, Ahara, I'm seeing that cute super... The super cute Sundre, guess who's not winning over the main character? Oh my god, every time! Every time, the Sundre gets shafted every time. I hate it. I hate it. Why? What do they have against Sundres? Why do they have against Sundres? Me with Lana. Yeah! <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one. Um, the next one is from... And with all Atome, I know! Okay, like, with with visual novels, at least, like, you can choose a route. Like, this is why I like visual novels so much. It's because you can choose a route, and then you really get to know a character from that route. And that's why I like visual novels so much. Like, more than, like, like harem animes and whatnot. Because you really get to know the characters. And that's what I like the most. But, but then, like, I, I think I really hate, like, anime adaptions a lot of anime adaptions of visual novels because like like it seems like they try and cram every single route into like the 12 episode anime and i'm like you can't really get into a character like this you know i don't like it anyways next one is from steins gate it is uh makise kurisu I haven't watched this anime at all or played the visual novel. I have the visual novel. I think I think I bought the visual novel. I can't remember. The thing I worked for was Steins Gate. I hear that the anime is really good. Um, I think I have the visual novel. I want to play it sometime. I hear it's really good and it's really interesting. I think it has uh, uh, a lot of mystery to it. Was that it? I love mystery. Want to marry her? She is really cute. She's really cute. I don't know much about her. She is attractive. She kind of has Onesan vibes, though. Is that just me? She's smart? I love me smart girls! Stream Steins Gate? Can I stream it? Does Steins Gate have adult content? I don't actually know. Can I stream it? I, I don't know. I'd have to look into that because I know there are some games that are banned. No adult content? Oh, Pog! I might be able to stream it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. What they should do is dedicate between 12 episodes of an anime to one route. Yeah, that would be best, Siri. I agree. There's no adult content. Pog, I might actually be able to stream it. That'd be kind of fun. That would be kind of fun. Anyways, she she has Onesan vibes. Just from like the pictures I've seen. She just has Onesan vibes. So she is so cute. And like... I love interesting stories and I hear like Steins Gate just has like one of the best. I've been interested in it for a while. I just haven't gotten into it like recently. I haven't played any visual novels in a while. Yeah. Should definitely watch or play it. Yeah. Who is your favorite character? Why is it Ferris? Who is that? Now I'm curious. Let's go. Okay, let me get a drink of water one sec. My Hitome backlog. Me too. I have so many games. I haven't played. Like, okay, I have. I have. In terms of Hitome games, I have Busta Fellas that I'm still on chapter two, and then I have like I bought all of Higurashi, intending on playing it. Like I literally bought it a year ago, and I haven't been able to play. It. I'm so behind. I'm so behind. Kisu is a total waifu. She is so cute. She's so cute. Routes are always bad in anime clan and had at least a few episodes extra episodes dedicated to other routes. Nice! Nice! We love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, alright, let's go to the next one. Um the next one is from Suki to Laika to Nosferatu. And it is Arinu Luminas. I have a thing for Chunis. There's a Chuni. Let's go. Happiness, cute Sundre, Yandre. Wait, what? What? Sundre vampire. I read that wrong. I was looking at Monica. <laughs> Anyways, Sundre vampire. Wait a second. I love me a vampire. I know. I like. I was looking for pictures, and I'm like, kind of squinting at her mouth, and I'm like, wait a second. Are those fangs? 
<laughs> I was like, oh, wait a second. Are those things? I love me some vampires. Throwback to when I spent like a whole stream talking about why I think that if vampires were real, everyone would just stan it. The main character of Steins Gate is a Chuni. Let's go. I love Chunies. Oh my God. Now I want to play it even more. Anyways. Anyways, let's get to Arena. I love vampires. Okay, but like for for real, for real, if vampires were real, nobody would be scared of them. Everyone would be like, aha, they're so sexy. It's true. It's true. Look, think, think, think deeply. Look inside your heart of hearts and think deeply. If vampires were real, wouldn't you kind of want them to bite you? Because that's kind of hot though. And Seraph of the End. Um, I, I say, I did, um, I believe I did both Shinoa and Cruel from Seraph of the End. They're both really great. They're both really great. Yes, 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 exactly. Bite me, please, vampire senpai. Exactly. And the kind of vampire, like, no consequences if they bite you. Like, you don't get turned into a vampire yourself. That. That. <laughs> Oh, the manga and the grin light novels. Me too. I love Sarah for the end so much. The hot vampires, definitely yes. Use me as a blood lake if needed. I know, right? <laughs> Drink their blood. Yes. Oh my god. Thank you for agreeing, everyone. You guys are all so wise. Anyways, <clears throat> proposing. Suck my blood like you. Wait a second. Monka S. I would try it once. Exactly. Did I ever end up officially releasing the last English Gruen light novel? Uh, yeah, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Mm hmm Yeah. I think it was a bit delayed, though. For some reason. I think it went on hiatus for a little bit. I can't remember. That was a while ago. That was a while ago. Anyways... Anyways, let's go. Next one is Genshin Impact. Ayaka! Oh my god. Ayaka, like, she's so hot. I haven't finished reading it though. It's been years since I released it. Yeah, it's been a while. Anyways, Ayaka is the most attractive Genshin character in my opinion. Waifu Impact. <laughs> so true. Hot, elegant, say so a waifu that can beat you up. Hey, I love a waifu that can beat me up. I thought this was obvious at this point. <laughs> Anyways, I, have you seen her dance? She dances? No, I haven't seen that. I want to see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. She dances? Oh my god, that's so attractive. Wait a second. One sec, sorry. I have to marry her. I have to marry that for... I, I have to marry her for that. Legit best cutscene in the game. I need to look that up and watch it. That's so good. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. I love her so much. Wait. Wait a second. She's so cute. I need to watch that. I, I, I'm definitely doing that after stream. And this is your homework for everyone watching is to go find that cutscene and watch it. Because Ayaka is so pretty. Waifu, I am getting on a knee and proposing to you. Please marry me. Still waiting for her rerun? I am ready to will. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, Genshin every time. Oh, thanks for the link, Siri. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, everyone can watch that. Anyways, um, I swear every time, every time Genshin, like, you have to watch it now. Okay, fine. I'll watch it now. This better not be a Rickroll. Can you hear it all right? <laughs> all right, we're oh, watching. Huh? Huh? There's something Audible, I, okay, I'd good. Like to do. If you could spare me huh? yet another moment. <laughs> She's so cute! Watch the Japanese version. No, I love English. I love English voice actors. Please. God, she's so attractive. Oh my god, my eyes are wide open, girl. Is the Pogus in the world? Wait, what's her Japanese VA?
She is so pretty! Yummy salary. Oh, I see. Yo, let's go. Oh, my God. That was so pretty. Wait, that was gorgeous. Wait, that was so gorgeous! What? Oh my god! Stop, don't play that. Okay, we're going back. That was gorgeous! <laughs> the biggest tangent we are taking just to see the- And it's so gorgeous! Okay, I am back- back to the stream. Skeen always brings a tear to my eye. That is gorgeous! Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I swear, like every few months, Genshin releases a character that looks like so attractive, right? <laughs> that looks so attractive. And I'm like, do I start playing Genshin for this one character? And then I always procrastinate it. And then I forget about Genshin. And then I'm like, I'm, I'm so sick of seeing it from Twitter. So I'm like, I don't want to play it. And then a few months later, they release a character that I'm really, I really like. And I'm like, do I play Genshin for this one character? And then I procrastinate it. And then I get sick of seeing Genshin from Twitter. And it keeps going on and on and on like that until eventually I'm sure I'm going to play it eventually. But yeah. One coin up, I know you'll like Yunjin. I need to look this character up. Sorry, we're going on a Genshin tangent. But yeah, I haven't played Genshin. Well, I played a little bit of Genshin on my PS4. When it first rolled- Oh no! She's so cute! Damn it! Damn it! She's so cute! She oh my gosh, I need to look up her too. Wait. Stop Genshin! Stop tempting me! You can't uh, tempt me! Oh no! Mommy! Mommy! Oh my god, stop. Stop Genshin! Genshin! I can't get into Genshin! I can't get into Genshin. That would be so many hours of my life. That's so many hours of my life, but they're so attractive. The characters are so attractive. And I hear like the story is getting really good. That's that's what I hear. Like it, the story is getting really, it's like really character driven. But I don't know. I had a hard time getting into it when I first got into it. Can we think about Zelda? Yes, Zelda, Zelda. Zelda, 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 waifu, Zelda, Zelda, waifu, lover, 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 lover. Okay, I need to be distracted by uh, Zelda, Zelda, love, love Zelda, love Zelda, love Zelda. Don't, don't, don't think about the Genshin waifus. They're, they're trying to trick me into spending money. Trying to trick me into spending money. Okay, okay. Hey, right, I'm, I'm gonna take a drink of water. I'm gonna take a drink of water and let's continue. Okay, we're safe. My wallet's safe. Let's go. Next one is from um, Bright Memory and it's Shelia. Oh, I've never heard of this. Isn't that every boss battle? What every boss battle? Oh, I'm going in with one heart. One fairy, a heart and a dream. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I don't know much about her or about this series at all. Is, is it a series? Just a game, I think? But she's cute! I'm gonna give her a year hot out of 10. She is so hot. Okay, like she's more than cute, really. Let's let's be real, she's hot. It's not so much about the characters, but love her design. Her designs are really good. Her designs really, I wish like it didn't just, here, I'm just moving her here to show you that like, yo, I love that jacket combo and like her, her jeans and whatnot. She is from uh, Bright Memory. Mm -hmm. Bright memory. Yeah, she's really cute. She's really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is from um, I'm a spider, so what? And it's Kumako. I saw her. Why did you put picture of Kumako in her spider form? Isn't she in her spider form as well? Did you want me to grab her waifu form because she kind of mommy? Or now bright infinite the longer game. Oh, did they remake it? Anyways, her, her like, human-ish 
form is kind of mommy. Like, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really, Spider is Kumiko or her arcane form. I don't, I don't know what the difference, but anyways, like, okay, her spider form or whatever, this form is really cute, but her other form is really mommy. <laughs> I don't know which one. The latter evolution is Shira Ori. I see, I see. Anyways, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of spiders. I, I thought I made that pretty obvious, but like, she's so cute. She's so cute, but also, uh, I'm, I'm sure she has lived through a lot being a spider. Like, literally, the t title is like, so I'm a spider, so what? Like, obviously, she has an attitude, and I want to be best friends with her because, like, let's go. That's such a great attitude to have. I love it. I love it. We love to see it. We love to see it. How they portray her self-image as this cute image. When others see her as a creepy crawler, really? She, oh man, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like that touch. That's great. That's great. Oh man. Yeah, I haven't seen this at all because spiders scare me. So I haven't watched this anime at all or read the manga. Can me and spiders becoming friends? Yeah, I'd be friends with her though. I'd be friends with her. She seems pretty cool. The name sucks, but the novels are pog. Nice. Happens like that sometimes. Yeah, I hear this series is really good. Really good. Oh, the anime sucks. The anime sucks. I see, I see, I see. Mm hmm. It happens. I mean, let's be real here. Are there. Okay, okay. Let, uh, this is an actual question. Are there any animes you can think of that are better than the source material? Except for Hunter x Hunter. That one, I'm sorry. I didn't like the manga at all. The anime is way better. But other than that, that one's a free one. You can't just take that one. Like, let's be real here. I don't- I feel like the anime is kind of never the best version. <laughs> um, see? See? It's hard. I, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm just putting a big disclaimer that's my- my- my opinion. Mushoku Tensai anime is really good, but so are the novels. Yeah, see, I feel like anime is really, it's either like equal to the source material or just kind of lesser. Honestly. But yeah, that's, that's just my opinion. My opinion, my, my humble opinion that I am putting out there on the internet to get flamed for. But anyways. Next one is from Rabbi Ribby and it is Arena. Arena, the main character. I love her. She is so cute. And I'm going to put her. Unless it's an anime original. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Arena, I am going to propose. I am proposing to her. Problem is, I always get so tired when I read manga. Me too. I have this problem where I'll read manga before going to bed. And then I keep falling to sleep. Like, I don't know why I'm so stubborn about it. Like, I will literally reread a page like five times and I'll keep falling to sleep on the same page and nothing makes sense anymore. But then I'll wake myself up and then I'll try to read the page again. But then I keep falling to sleep. And then until eventually, like on the 20th try, I'm like, oh my God, I can't read this anymore. Just go to bed. It's a cutie. Planning to play after I finish Shin Megami Tensei. Five, yeah. Okay, Rabbi Ruby. Let's go back to Rabbi Ruby. She is so cute. She's like the best protagonist. And honestly, we love Bunny Girls. Bunny Girls, ten out of ten. I'm proposing to her. I actually want to marry her. I want to marry her. I don't care if people give me weird looks for marrying a bunny girl. She's hot. She is so hot. Oh my god, this game has so many good waifus. Like I'm definitely, definitely going to do a waifu tier list stream dedicated just for this game. Because holy crap, this game has so many great characters and great waifus and great designs. But okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the next one. This one is from Psychopath. It is Akane Sune Mori. Um I never watched Psychopaths. I was oh my gosh. There's so many of these where I'm like, I have no idea anything about this, but Psychopaths has been on my like to watch list for years. I haven't watched it at all. But she, she is like really cool looking. She's cute for one. For two, she's really cool looking. Like I definitely feel like she can drop me. I think I want, I want her to pat my head. Is she short though? I have a feeling she's really short. 
Why do I have this feeling? Like, this image does not show her real height, I don't think. But I have a feeling she's just really short, and that's so cute. Probably best waifu. Nice! Yeah, she's really cute looking. Mm -hmm. Been a while since I watched. I hear it's really good. One of those anime that defines wrong think culture will become if we're not careful. What's that? Wait, I'm confused. What does that mean? Didn't watch Psychopaths? I hear it's really good. And it's definitely been on my to watch list. But I don't really know much about it, to be honest. I don't know much about it other than, like, she's from there. Yeah. She's really cute. Okay, I need more water. My voice is dying. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Next one it is also from Rabby Rippy. And it's Rumi. Rumi from Rabby Rippy. Oh, wrong thing culture is where you can get canceled if you don't agree with a popular opinion. Uh-oh. What happened in the fandom? Uh-oh. Or are you talking about the anime itself? Yeah. I think I, I get exactly what you mean. That's that's a problem in fandom. Any fandom really. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, Rumi, I I want to marry her. I want to be Rumi's wife. I want Rumi to be my wife. She's like my ultimate. Oh, the anime itself. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I like that. I like that. Um, Rumi? Rumi is like my ultimate waifu of the game. I can't... It's like... Okay, I said... I was like talking about this earlier in the stream. But you ever just see a character and it's like love at first sight... You're like, I just know you're going to be my waifu. And then everything that they do just like further, further like clarifies that always happens. Yeah, like everything they, they do, you're like, oh my God, I know it. I know it's you. I know you're the one and everything you're doing, I love. Exactly, exactly. I'm weak to waifus. <laughs> yes, yes. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, um... Need to play to find out but she's a cutie too she is cute i had such a hard time finding an image for her so i'm so sorry the image is super small might want to look her up like separately to try and find a good image <laughs> i couldn't find a good one okay okay and the next one is um miroko is from me 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 ruko chan it is miko yotsuya uh, I don't, I, I know this is an anime, right? This is, I think it's a short form anime. And I think this is the main character. And like, isn't it about where like the main character keeps seeing like yokai or ghosts or something like that? Happiness, please help her not seeing ghosts anymore. To lead a normal life again. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, oh, uh oh, like I'm pretty sure this anime has like some creepy elements to it. Yeah, definitely serves all the happiness in the world. For sure, for sure. But she, I like her character design. Especially like her gold eyes really stands out against her dark hair. She deserves all the happiness, yes. She is really cute though. She is, she is. Mm -hmm. Not only seeing normal ghosts like other characters in it. She's seeing the heavy sub. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's hard. That, that's, that's hard. That gets hard. Want to marry this blue-haired mage? Okay, next one. Then is from Mushoku Tensei. And it is, um... Roxy! Yeah! Roxy! <laughs> oh my god, we got some Roxy love in the chat. We have some Roxy love in the chat! Let's go! Also, I feel like... Biggest hat. <gasps> You're right. The bigger the hat, the bigger the moe. Oh my god. You're so right. Bigger hat, bigger moe. Where should I put her? Where should I put her? Bigger hat, bigger moe. Uh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Um. Okay. The bigger the hat, the bigger the heart. So true. Pat is big, but her being small helps the hat looking bigger. Wait, her being small is so cute. Okay, best combination though. Best combination is small girl, big hat. That's best combination. Small girl, big hat. 
That's what we love to see. That that's we love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, her. I think I'm gonna put her at deserves all the happiness in the world, cause uh, she does. She does. She she deserves to be happy and live a happy life. And I, I don't know why I have this feeling that she doesn't get that because I feel Mushoku Tensei specifically terrifies me. Small girl, big hat, Megumin. Exactly! Megumin! Oh man, Megumin's so cute. Anyways, anyways, I don't know. Mushoku Tensei terrifies me. I feel like it's gonna tear my heart out and that's why I haven't watched it at all. Um, but uh, she deserves all the happiness in the world. Anyways. Next one's also from Mushoku Tensei, and it is Eris. Uh, I, oh my god, I had so much trouble finding a picture for Eris because, like, I was trying, okay, whenever I look for pictures, I try and find pictures, like, that, that show off, like, the character of a person, but I, I, sh there were so many different expressions and, like, outfits and whatnot, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Eris has insane character development. Nice. Okay, but like for real, she's definitely my type. From what I've seen, she's my type. <laughs> she's my type. Eris is nice, but more so later. Character development. Character development. Yeah. I love me some character development. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, she's she's super cute. I know like nothing about her because Google Images has shown me so much. Sundre who will beat you up. She's pretty cute though. I love me some Sundres. Let's go. Bigger the soon, the more the Dre. Or the Dere or whatever. <laughs> she will beat you up for, for real. Thank God. Story is one big development. Goes from birth to death. So much story. So it is gonna tear my heart out is what you're telling me. Everyone fears Eris. Good. <laughs> Love me some Sundries. Yes! Yes! Okay, I need to sit up again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. We got two more. We got two more. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, next one. It will rip your heart apart and repair it again. Oh my god. Again and again? See, this is why I'm terrified of Mushoku Tensei. This is why I'm terrified of it. Okay, next one is from Gate. It is Rory uh, Mercury. She is so cute. Oh my god, wait, is she Chuny? Wait, somebody tell me, is she Chuny? It's just the MC picks wrong in terms of waifus. I, I definitely understand that. I want Rory to pat me. Long time, no see. Is she Chuny? She is illegal. She is illegal! Let's go! Okay, um, she is so cute, okay? I like, she's 912 or so, granny? I love me some grannies, let's go. Wait, that sounds wrong, wait a second. I love me super old characters, is that weird? <laughs> Demi goddess, she's a death goddess, oh my god, she can rip me, she, she can, she can reap me. She can reap me any day. Girl, come reap me any day. Sorry if you've seen that anime. I really like to chat clip it. No! Fucking hot. Yeah, she's so hot. She literally climbs up on his lap and makes herself at home. That's so moe. Can I be the main character instead? <laughs> can I be the main character instead? Oh my gosh, she can reap me any day. She's so cute. She's so cute, what? Oh my god, and I love her color scheme, like black and red, let's go. Give me, give me a gothic Lolita waifu. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and the last one is from King of Fighters. Angel, you are so hot ta ta. Mommy, hello, mommy, hello, mommy, hello. Mexican representation, we love to see it, let's go. Bro, look at those bazonga. I know, right? Her bazongas. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. Mommy, hello. Angel is such a mommy. And like, yeah, let's go Mexican representation. We love to see it. 
she turned on over strange reasons wait what what are you talking about rory oh my god <laughs> she has serious character development nice let's go let's go she's so high okay all right she's so hot we got it we we ended it off with a mommy i love that we love to see it mommy hello mommy hello <laughs> okay but this is it oh uh, let me do this i think this will show the full amount this is it this is my tier list maker do you agree with my choices do you disagree with my choices too bad because they're my choices i'm locking them in i'm locking them in yeah can I just like download this image? Download this image. Here. There we go. Save the image. Time to post. Yeah. I'll post it after I end stream. Yeah, that's it. That's 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 the wife and slash husband of tearless stream. Thank you all for coming. Alright, let me find somebody to raid real quick. Let me find somebody to raid real quick. But thank you all for coming. Oh my god, that was so much fun. That was so much fun. We really went on kind of a tangent today. Gato, omerito. Thank you. Arigato. Really appreciate it. Alright, alright. I had so much fun though. Oh my god. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for coming. It's, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I l always love... She's waiting for a debut. Oh, Sylvie's gonna raid Shadow? Okay, okay, I'll definitely... I'll definitely uh, raid Sylvie then. Because I, I was wondering, like, if I was gonna go on long enough, I was gonna raid Shadow myself. But, um... We can just raid Sylvie instead, because... I don't know, I don't think I have enough to talk about for another hour. <laughs> so yeah, I'll raid Sylvie. Good idea. Thank you, Sari. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'll start rain. Yeah, bye bye. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And um, I had so much fun chatting about cute waifus and whatnot. Always a great time. Always a great time. And all right, tomorrow I will post my schedule for next week. I'll probably be streaming next uh, Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I had fun. I had a ton of fun too. Thank you, thank you. But we're gonna read Celine now. But thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll post the tier list, the finished tier list, on social media, on my Twitter, in a little bit. But thank you all for coming. Thank you, thank you. I had a great time. And um, I can't wait for next time. Anyways, have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time it is for you. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.